Installing Language Packs. Once your software is up to date, you may want to check if all necessary language packages are installed. For that, head over to the Manjaro Settings Manager. They can also be installed like regular packages. See section installing new software. But this method takes care of them all in one fell swoop. In the Manjaro Settings Manager, double-click on Language Packages. Available language packages will be listed here. If there are any, click on the Install Packages button to install them. You will be prompted for your password before proceeding to the installation. In the example shown here, none are available. Installing new software. There's a huge amount of software freely available in the Manjaro repositories. If you are connected to the internet, you can download and install as many of this as you want at no cost. No advertising is embedded. No data gathering performed you get just the software application unlike with some other operating systems. Footnote, be careful before enabling the AUR. It is a community maintained repository of software so presents potential risks and problems. Make sure you are familiar with the build process. Paymac. PayMac is a piece of software that allows you to install software on your computer. You can find it under the name Add Remove Software in the Application menu. PayMac allows easy access to the available software. All software applications in the repositories are free. No need to worry about purchase or licensing costs. To search for a package, simply start typing or use the tabs to the left. To obtain more information on a package, right-click on it and select Details. This will give you a description of the package, a link to the official website of the package, a list of dependencies, and much more. You can also left-click on the name of the application to show its details. Once you've found the package you want to install, right-click and select Install, or check the box left of the application's name. Then click on the Apply button that will appear at the bottom of the window to confirm. The packages to be installed are listed so you can check if this is what you want to do. If additional packages are needed by the one or those you want to install, they will also be listed here. They are called dependencies. When you are happy with the selection, click Commit and the software will be downloaded and installed. To stop other users from removing important software from the system, you will have to provide an administrator password. If you kept the default settings when creating a user during the installation, your own password will, will work. If you don't know it, you can't go any further. There are methods to reset this password if needed. Visit the forum or IRC channel to find out more. Enter your password and click the software packages will be downloaded and installed. You don't have to do anything else. It says here authenticate. The new software will show as installed with PayMac and is available in the application menu ready for you to use. You can, 
you can close PayMac now if you want. Octopi. Note the Windows decorations displayed in the following subsection may differ from the ones currently used. It does not affect the methods shown. The process of installing new software using Octopi is very similar to the one using PayMac. Octopi allows easy access to the available software. Do note that the search process is slightly different to PayMac as you can select whether to search by package name or package description. Once you've found the package you want to install, right click and select install. Some software will have other packages it can optionally use if they are installed. These optional dependencies can be selected here or ignored. You can always install them later if you want to. A summary of the transactions is displayed at the bottom of the window. Once you are ready to apply them, click on the check mark at the top left of the window to commit them. The packages to be installed are listed, so you can check if this is what you want to do. When you are happy with the selection, click Yes. Type in the root administrator password when prompted and the software will be downloaded and installed. Octopi will show a confirmation that it installed the new software. You can close Octopi now if you want. The new software is now ready to use. Using Pac-Man. Pac-Man is the Arc Linux package manager. This underpins PayMac and Octopi but doesn't have a graphical interface. Instead, it is used by typing commands that should be in the terminal, not on the terminal. The commands allow you to install, upgrade, configure, and remove software. Synchronizing with the Manjaro repositories a new packet, as new packages are added to the repositories, you will need to regularly synchronize the package list. This is normally taken care of automatically on a regular basis by the software managers. But to perform this manually, type the following into the terminal. sudo space pacman space dash capital S lowercase y. This will only download, download the package list if there has been a change. Occasionally, you may want to force the package list to be downloaded. To do this, type sudo space pacman space dash capital S YY. Updating software. Pacman will allow you to perform an update of software already installed with the command sudo pacman dash capital S lowercase u. It's a good idea to check whether the package lists are up to date at the same time. To do so, type sudo pacman dash capital S lowercase y lowercase u. You can also force a package list synchronization before performing an update with sudo pacman dash capital S YYU. Searching for software. Finding a package by name is really straightforward. For example, to search for a text editor called LeafPad, type sudo pacman dash capital S lowercase s space LeafPad. Installing software. Installing a package is equally straightforward. 
For example, to install LeafPad, type sudo space pacman space dash capital S space LeafPad. Uh, many software applications depend on other software packages. Thankfully, Pac-Man will automatically detect and install these. Removing software. To remove a software package, you need to know its name. But the command is straightforward. To remove LeafPad, type sudo, pac sudo space Pac-Man space dash capital R space LeafPad. I guess R would be for remove. It's also possible to remove a package and any dependencies it required when it was installed. Assuming those other packages are not being used by another piece of software, they will become orphan packages. These serve no function other than taking up space. To remove a software package with its dependencies, type sudo space pacman space dash capital R lowercase s space leafpad. A package may also create configuration files. Normally these are left in place so your configuration is not lost and can be reused if you install the package again. However, if you want to remove these configuration files too, the command is sudo space pacman space dash capital R lowercase n lowercase s space leaf pad. If at a later date you want to remove all orphan packages and configuration files for packages that you removed some time ago, the following command will do it. sudo space pacman space dash capital R lowercase n lowercase s space dollar sign parentheses pacman space dash capital q uh, lowercase t d q close parentheses be warned though this is an advanced command other pacman commands it's a good idea to become familiar with the pacman commands it can be very useful a very useful tool in case the other software managers refuse to complete an installation. For example, if an installation process is interrupted, the Pac-Man man page is very informational and can be viewed with the command man space Pac-Man. Man is short for manual. To exit, press Q. Updating the mirror list. Manjaro Linux packages are hosted on a number of servers across the world. These servers mirror the official Manjaro software repository. When you first install Manjaro, it will try to work out which server is closest to you so that software downloads complete as quickly as possible. Sometimes, though, the list of mirrors can get old. New mirrors can become available, and some mirrors are removed. Updates to Manjaro will regularly trigger an update of the mirror list, but sometimes it's useful to do this manually. To update the mirror list, use the following command. sudo space pacman dash mirrors space dash f space. I think that's uh, a zero. So you have a dash F space zero. This will test the speed of all currently available mirrors and set your machine to use the best for you. Once this command is completed, you should force a download of the package list with the command sudo space pacman space dash capital S Y Y U. So uh, number two, sudo pacman mirrors dash f space zero, sudo pacman mirrors dash i. Choosing mirrors. If you would like more control over which mirrors to use, run the command sudo space pacman dash mirrors space dash i. This will allow you to select which mirror or mirrors 
to try when checking for software updates and downloading new packages. It's normally best to choose mirrors that are geographically close to you. So if you're in Canada, then servers from Canada and the U.S. are generally a good bet. Of course, you're free to choose whichever you want. To reset back to an automatic choice, run this command. sudo space pacman dash mirrors space dash f. Remember to force a download of the package list to use the new mirrors.